So I'm guessing that you play Osu. And are probably looking for a keypad to play with and no one to break your keyboard. Well, you've come to the right place. Today's review will be about the Simpad Nano, a much smaller keyboard than your conventional keyboard. The keypad comes in a sleek branded packaging. Upon removing the keypad from the packaging, you will get the keypad, of course, and installation instructions from the keypad and the drivers. Along with these, you will receive a USB to USB-C cable with a couple of replacement keycaps and a keycap remover, which is a nice little addition. Starting off with the stability on your desk. In my case, you can use the non-slip mat to prevent the keypad of sliding back and forth on the table. And if the mat loses its thickness, you can wipe it with some hot water. On to the design of the keypad, which its size it provides the best quality a product of its size possibly can. It feels just like a keyboard, but provides you with more space than a conventional keyboard. The Simpad Nano also features full-fledged RGB lighting, which can be controlled via the software pretty easily to match your RGB setup quickly. The keypad is made out of plastic, like any other keyboard or keypad, but with a nice little texture which does not wear off, even after using it for a couple of years. Using the included transparent keycaps, you can get use of the full potential of the RGB lighting. The switches are hot swappable, meaning if you need other types of switches or just new ones, you can easily change them with the including clip. Keep in mind that these switches are gate to run red switches and do not have any kind of feedback, which might feel different from what you might be used from a standard mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX switches. Gate to run red switches sound in my opinion a bit cleaner and might even be better for some of you to play with. Here's a quick sound comparison with the Simpad V2, which are at around 30 bucks, which are using Cherry MX red switches. I think that the drivers of the Simpad Nano are pretty simple and intuitive, featuring a material design and smooth animations. Installing the drivers is as easy as connecting the Simpad to your PC and installing the drivers through the software with a click of a button. You will have the option to choose between three main settings. First, modifying the shortcuts for the keys. Second, enabling or disable various lighting options and third, Advanced settings, which include changing the bouncing delay and the full speed mode, as well as a factory reset option and updates. With two keys, you might miss the ability to quickly restart or pause the game and also, by which the Simpad V2 is doing a better design job with three extra buttons. But the Simpad Nano has one small button, which you can assign to as any key, just like a macro. For example, quickly restart or pause a game. If that's not enough, you can keep the Simpad Nano close to your keyboard and always assign extra buttons to your keyboard instead. With that out of the way, let's hop right into some quick gameplay where I can show you the Simpad Nano in use.
Goal!
Thank you.